think eventually what I'd love to do is I'd love to get like a white psych space to where a wall could be just as blank as the floor. Because mm -hmm. I think I like the bird's eye top down view because of the simplicity of it. It's like a minimalist thing, you know, where it's just us in like a very minimal space. Yes. Yeah. And, and I think there's a lot to be done with, um, kind of playing on the borders. Like it could be fun to have four different groups of cuddlers and each of them just filling a little tiny portion of the frame. Mm. There's like all this stuff happening kind of like bleeds over into reality. I don't know. I am looking forward to more people collaborating. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very nice cuddling with you. <laughs> <laughs> but Likewise. I'm really looking forward to a lot more diversity yeah. in it. Yeah. You know, I really yeah. feel like one of my original concepts of this was like, you know, a punk rocker cuddling a cop uh, or a Arab woman cuddling a, a Hasidic rabbi, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, people who society at, we're told we can't get along with that are our opposites, mm -hmm. you know, coming together in like peace and love and affection and just kind of being human together. Yeah, yeah and to that end, um, just the idea that anybody cuddling with anybody uh, is just as powerful as these polar opposites, mm -hmm. right? It's like the same realm of experience. It's like it just doesn't matter. It could be a Hasidic Jew cuddling with a Muslim or a Muslim cuddling with a black person. Like it's all just a big mm -hmm. melting pot of sensation and we all disappear into our sensations and our bodies when we're just touching one another. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that's part of what I enjoy from my work too is coming to um, these people who, you know, maybe see themselves as on a different like level, you know, just like very separate, just very different from me, right? Mm -hmm. And and being able to touch them in a way that feels familiar to them mm -hmm. and feels like like it breaks down those barriers of we come from different places. We come it, from it, different instead of separate, it's we're coming together. Right. You know. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. There's so many different aspects of it too, like the play. Mm hmm You know, I mean... I'm more, even as my own stuff with, with, with my clowning and stuff like that, mm -hmm. uh, I'm always playing and, and making games and in that creation process with another. And I feel, I feel that with our process with this, mm -hmm. you know, because we are, you know, cuddling, but we're also creating these videos of this as well. So we have our own, like, creation play in this as well, like... Yeah, and and past even just the creation of something tangible and uh, you know that builds on itself over time, we have in those moments these tiny little creations, just in the form of body position, mm -hmm. even you know, just like oh, I've never thought of myself in this position before. You know, I've I've discovered this new. Uh, combination of spaces that my body can be in touch with somebody else's body and and what it like st tells in our archetypes like yeah. you know a reaching out of the hand and touching the chin mm. or you know a combing the hair back to see the <laughs> eyes like all of these uh, simple things yeah. you know that have like such power uh, yeah. to them in terms of you know our context and our meaning of them and like yeah. the emotions that you know, flood with them with like memories or, you know, everything we've seen so far. Yeah. And just like a language, you know, we have this physicality that has historics for us, right? Mm -hmm. It comes from places. And when we go through these motions, we're in, we're in that moment for ourselves and we can kind of take a look kind of almost objectively at where does it, why did I reach like that? Why did I touch like that? You know, mm -hmm. and you can 
you can look at yourself in the other and uh, it's a place also to reframe yourself if there's something that you're noticing in your conditioning that perhaps you would like to phase out or you know bring something new into yeah I like that idea of like self hacking yeah you know like re 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 rewiring <laughs> rewiring your systems <laughs> You know, and, uh, you know, being able to, you know, kind of choose, like, what you like rather than just, like, 